All right, so chapter three was on pure substances, uh, and we have property tables for two pure substances, right? Refrigerant and um, and uh, water. Uh, and so chapter three was really about all those property tables. Uh, so I I think I'll go ahead and guarantee that chapter three problem will be one of these, um, except it will have a fifth column. Right, and I'm going to ask for quality. So let's go ahead and find quality uh, right here for these. So, so yes, do look at this one. This is a, a good one. Um, do you remember all those problems where they, in a roundabout way, gave us the specific volume? This is kind of a closed, uh, a closed pro problem. So we'll kind of do that for chapter four. So anyway, look at the next problem, but expect. Um, a problem like this on the test. Alright, so a few things. Just pay attention to. Make sure. Is it H2O or water? Uh, is it SI or English units? Right, this is SI. Uh, and then right here, just be careful. Is that H or U or S or is it V? So this this case, it is specific volume right here. Alright. So, problem number one. With a temperature of 140 and at that specific volume, well, let me first see if it's a mixture. Right, so first I'm going to head over to table what A4 would be the temperature table 140.05, 140 and 0.05. So table four with the temperature of 140 degrees C. Uh, is it in between VF and VG? Yes, just bare. Well, no, never mind, not just barely. 0.05. Uh, yeah, so yeah, it's definitely in between those. So there, that right there is the pressure, 361.53. And the qual, and it's a saturated liquid vapor mixture. All right, and so let's calculate the quality. I think I'm going to do it right here. Uh, the quality, the H, not the H, sorry. V equals VF plus X, VFG. V uh, is 0.05 equals VF point zero zero one oh eight oh plus X VFG point five oh eight five oh point zero zero one oh eight oh right there I've got a quality of point oh nine six four let me copy this and take it over to I don't know if y'all can do that on your exam or your iPad and paste that right there. All right, quality point oh nine six four. It's a saturated mixture. It's a saturated liquid, saturated vapor mixture. Um, as long as you tell me mixture, you'll be good. Uh, and the pressure was just the saturation pressure, three sixty one point five three kPa. All right, uh, you don't have to show me your work, uh, but if you do, that will definitely make me feel better that you didn't just copy something. Uh, but this is kind of an all or nothing problem. There'll be 15 blanks, 15 points. Okay, problem number uh, two. It ha has a pressure of 550 and it is saturated liquid. It is saturated liquid. The quality of saturated liquid is zero. All right, so it's saturated liquid, so for 550, let me go to the property tables, go to A5 for 550, look, yeah, don't even have to interpolate. Be ready and be careful, be able to interpolate. Uh, so the temperature will be 155.46 and the V would be VF, 0 0.001097, so no calculations needed for that one the temperature 155.46 specific volume point 0.010907 quality of zero all right next one a temperature of 125 pressure of 750 i could go to either table a4 or a5 and it should they should send me to the same table Let's see. Let's see. I may, let's go to, I don't know, either one. Either one. Let's try A4 first. 
A temperature of 125, I should have a saturation pressure, if it's a mixture or saturated liquid or saturated vapor, I should have a pressure of 232. I've got a pressure of 750. It is too pressurized. The pressure is too high. If, if, the, if it is pressing too high, it is squeezing this into a liquid. This is a compressed liquid. Let's see if I would have gotten compressed liquid from the pressure table. A pressure of 750. The temperature should be 167, but the temperature is only 125. The temperature is too low. It's too cold. It is a compressed liquid. All right, so both of those would send me to the compressed liquid tables. Let's see if it is on the compressed liquid tables. Table A7. Compressed liquid. Um, yeah, I probably don't have a pressure that high. Um, yeah, my pressure is 750. The compressed liquid tables start with a pressure of 5 MPA or 5,000 kPa. So if it was on table A7, I'd definitely go to table A7. But if it's not, then what do you do? You go to the V of the saturated liquid at that temperature. So I go to the V of saturated liquid at a temperature of... 125. So that one right there, the VF, right? VF at the temperature, not the VF at the pressure. Not the VF at the pressure. So 0 0.001065 is my answer. <clears throat> so go back here. 0 0.001065. Uh, it is a compressed liquid uh, tell me not applicable for the quality I prefer you to let's reserve a zero for specifically a saturated liquid let's reserve a one for a saturated vapor but if it's superheated vapor or this one compressed liquid tell me not ac applicable for the quality okay next that temperature is this specific volume uh, a mixture is that on the uh, saturated uh, table. Let's go to table A4. A4. For a temperature of 500. All right. Well, it's not even on the uh, table right here. All right. Uh, it is too hot. If it, once it gets up to a temperature of 370, it needs a really, really, really huge pressure just to make it come back down to being a mixture. Uh, so this is superheated. And let's see if our superheated, let's see if it makes sense that it's on the superheated table. All right, so this is a tough one. I think we're going to have to uh, look in between uh, some boxes. All right, so here are some these. All right, for 535, so we're looking for 0.15, 500. All right, 500. Let's see. Here are all the V values for 500. What are we looking for? 0.14. Okay, yeah, so look at that. That to five decimal places. I'm not going to make you interpolate that one, but definitely be able and be ready. Do we do any interpolation for this problem? I think I'm going to give you a minimum of one of these where you have to do some interpolation. I thought we were about to have to do some interpolation between two values, uh, but that is close enough to 0.14. The pressure is just 2.5 MPA. All right, so let's go back to final exam review. Yeah, pressure, 2,500 MPA. This is super heated vapor quality, not applicable. Okay. All right, I th hope that this is the easiest problem on the test. I hope you know those property tables backwards and forwards. Um, be sure to be able to interpolate. 
Um, and these are some easy, hopefully 15 easy points for you. Okay.